Hello everybody, we're going to be making a ajo con gandules, or as we call it, rice and beans, or rice con gandules. Um, I'm going to show you step by step. I'm going to have pictures online and the recipe also. We're going to do it in the pressure cooker, which gives it a lot more flavor, I must say. And um, that's the way I cook my Spanish Puerto Rican rice. So we're going to start with um, a tablespoon of salt. Salt, tablespoon. Just uh, mix it around there. Okay. And this is the salt I use. You can use any type of salt. Then we're going to start with the two cups of rice. Measure two cups. I rinsed. This is the Goya rice. This is medium grain. Um, some people use large grain, large grain. I don't use the large grain. I like the medium grain. I just prefer that. So this is two cups of, of the Goya rice. And I mix a teaspoon of adobo and a teaspoon of garlic. And this is what we got little mixture there, a teaspoon of each. I'm going to add some sasson. Gives us some color. Ham flavor Goya. have two teaspoons of garlic, which this is the garlic I use. Two teaspoons. This is a half a cup of cilantro. It's up to you. If you I just like cilantro. It tastes good. It gives it more flavor. This is all about flavor what we like. Okay, we're gonna add the gandules, which was Goya. This really gives a good taste too. I pre-rinsed and here we go. If you want to put meat, I have sausage, you can put pork, you can put I don't know what else you can put, but like I say, if you want meat, you can use meat. If not, don't use it. I just use it to give it that extra flavor. I don't really eat it, but this is a half a cup of um, sausage. And this is chicken broth. You can use water instead of if you're watching your salt or you're low in salt, you don't want to use the salt. Um, this is what I got. Organic. This gives it that extra flavor. I mean, it's, it's exactly two cups. I put two cups of rice and two cups of the liquid. You always match the rice with the liquid. Exactly two cups. So we're going to pour that in. Like I say, you can use... You can use water too. You don't have to use the chicken broth, but that chicken broth gives it that extra flavor. Now we're gonna mix our ingredients together. Mm, looks good. Gotta make sure it's all covered up. Mm, tastes good already. Here, how it looks. Show you how it looks. That's what we got. Looking good. Okay, all the ingredients are in there. I preset my um, pressure cooker on pressure cook time. 
for 25 minutes and then we'll push start and we'll see you in 25 minutes okay our 25 minutes are up and the rice looks good it tastes amazing as you can see it's delicious ready to go and also if you didn't see it in the beginning of the video i also put a tea tablespoon of olive oil before i put the um salt and all the ingredients in you know, it's good to put at least a tablespoon of olive oil or some type of cooking oil so it turned out amazing like always and it wasn't that bad it was fast and easy and i hope you enjoy and like this video and um i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day